1905, while working in a patent office, this young man produced an astonishing series of revolutionary ideas. By his death in 1955, his name was forever linked to world-shaking events. Today, for most of us, he is the face of science. Ask most people to name a scientist, and I'll bet you the name they come up with is Einstein. They might not have any idea who won the Nobel Prize in physics this year, but they'll know old Albert. It's hard to believe how, in one single year, while working in that Bern patent office, he created no less than three revolutions in science and forever transformed our daily lives. No wonder he became the poster boy for genius. On the other hand, Einstein's beginnings weren't always so promising. Well, he graduated from a very prestigious school, uh, the, uh, the, the Federal Technical School in Zurich. And he was, I think, the, the fifth best student out of a class of six. So he hadn't always applied himself very well. And there weren't jobs open. Also, he was Jewish, and it wasn't easy to get a job. So one of his uh, fellow classmates, the father of one of his fellow classmates, got him a job in the Bern Patent Office. In the early years of the 17th century, Galileo turned his simple telescope toward the skies. His discoveries turned our understanding of the cosmos on its head. A few decades later, Newton replaced some of Galileo's lenses with a curved mirror and took us further into the vast, unknown universe. Lenses and mirrors got bigger and better. Einstein lived to see the giant telescopes of Mount Palomar. Their enormous mirrors represented one of the great engineering feats of the time. Their precisely designed optics let us see deep into the universe around us. This 100-inch uh, reflector was completed about uh, 13 years ago and has contributed in three or four very notable ways to progress in astronomy. Thanks to Einstein, our eyes could now see further than ever before, but this was nothing compared to what was just around the corner. Our ability to transform light into electricity continued to advance. Today, we have charge-coupled devices, or CCDs. These form the eyes of tools as diverse as the Hubble telescope and the camera you just bought. Digital cameras essentially works on the uh, photoelectric effect. Light behaves like a particle, comes in, knocks out an electron in the semiconductor chip in the back, causes a little electric current, and it says, OK, you get a little pixel of light. And you get a lot of light, you build up all the pixels, you get your image. Before Einstein, the universe of physics was static and eternal. After him, it was dynamic and evolving. In fact, Einstein's equations of general relativity showed that the universe has to evolve. Now, this changes everything. If we live in a universe which is dynamical, which is young, which has a history, which is ever-changing, this is very different psychologically, it's very different philosophically than being in a universe which is eternally there. And I think this is part of this revolutionary transformation that we're living through, the change from seeing things as absolutely and eternally structured to living within a system of relations that evolves. It has a beginning, it has a history, there's a story, and you have to know how you fit into that story. Einstein reshaped our image of the universe. And even though he set out on a journey of pure discovery, now more than a century later, his ideas continue to reshape the world around us. Whatever this tool in the hand of man will produce depends entirely on the nature of the goals alive in this mankind. 